I am convinced the tide is turning. I am convinced the public pressure, the pressure of public opinion is mounting and ceasefire is inevitable. Israel is losing out. They're losing the media war despite their connections. They are losing the media war. The tide what are their, is turning. What are their connections? <laughs> Deep pockets. What does that mean? Well, they're very influential people. I mean, they control media. You began this conversation. I'm so sorry. There's so many things I want to talk to you about, but I personally am offended as a journalist. You began this conversation by saying that Israel, suggesting that Israel has, quote, close friends and powerful friends in the media. That is an anti-Semitic trope. No, no. What I'm saying is the perception. Look at the perception the world has. You cannot ignore that, ma'am. But that's a wrong perception. Would be wrong, but that's a perception. Negate it. Well, someone, Negate someone... It. By, giving, by giving a balanced coverage, Negate it. The onus is not on those who are being accused of things that aren't true. It, it's on people like you in powerful positions to say that that's wrong. Well, what we are saying, what is wrong is wrong, and I'm not shying away from that. What I'm saying is this insanity must come to an end. We must promote dialogue. We must sit and talk, and we must promote peace. Israelis and Palestinians, everybody has a right to live. They have a right to protect their children. Look at what's happening. 230 innocent people have been killed. More than 50,000 people have been displaced. You know, 50 schools have been bombed. Hospitals have been targeted. Red Cross has been targeted. The AP office, you know, media outlets have been targeted. And what they're saying is, okay, if you think there was Hamas presence there, why don't you have an independent investigation?